Oh, this historic church is reduced to ashes. Today, flames destroyed St. John the Divine Catholic Church in KCK. 41 Action News anchor Gabriella Pagan joins us now live. And Gabriella, what's the reaction there in the community tonight? This was us. This was our church. While it may have sat vacant for the past 28 years, people like Marianne Franco and Ileana Navarro say its presence still gave them comfort and stood for cultural significance. Oh God, this this was it. This was it. I mean, we had we had fun. We had Mexican fiestas. We had musicians, food, bingo, anything. Many in the Argentine community say this was the last building that represented Hispanic culture here. That's us, you know, that's our memories, not everybody else's memories, because they don't know, they don't know what, what we went through here. We had so much fun. It was home to all of us. Argentine has changed, yes, because of all these homes, but, you know, we have great memories. It's still, we still hung on to a little bit of memories, you know, so I mean, we still had it, you know, we still drove by and and we remembered every single time and now in its place. They hope a new church will be built off the sentimental value and memories of St. John the Divine, saying it's what the community of Argentine needs. I think we all need to get together again and build a church here. We it's not going to have the same memories as it, you know, as we had in the past, but at least it'll be built on, on a, a memory where we did have our church before. And maybe with that new church, it would bring something, it would bring Argentina alive again. Now, obviously, Dia, this is a heartbreaking situation tonight for the community of Argentine, but in the midst of all that sadness, we saw smiles, we heard laughter as the community came out to reminisce about what St. John the Divine meant to them. To them, this was more than just a building. It was their home. Now, the ATF is on the scene investigating, and we did see law enforcement questioning nearby residents and witnesses as to what they may have seen moments before that fire broke out. For now, reporting live in KCK, Gabriella Pagan, 41 Action News. Gabriella, thanks for that story tonight.